Can a minibus dealer from the north of England set up his own bank to benefit the people of Burnley? Well, that's what we're about to find out in Bank of Day from Netflix. Hello and welcome to Screen OD, a channel for people who love TV, movies and streaming. My name's Tim, I'm an editor and a journalist who's been writing and talking about the media industry for more than 15 years. And that's why I remember Bank of Dave has been on the scene before. Not as a movie like this Netflix feel-good movie that we're about to talk about, but as a documentary on Channel 4 in 2012, which told the story of David Fishwick, or Dave from Burnley as he's probably better known, a man who really did try and set up his own bank against the odds. Can a minibus dealer from the north of England do a better job than London's top bankers? And could this be the future face of banking? Hello, I'm Dave from Burnley. Okay, so what's this one all about? Well, you've probably guessed already, but this is the story of a man called Dave who tries to set up a bank. Now, if you've seen the 2012 Channel 4 documentary, you'll know that this is quite a struggle. Now, this Netflix film isn't a faithful reconstruction of everything that happens in that documentary. It is a fictionalized version of the events surrounding what is a very compelling story about a man trying to set up a bank for the community in Burnley. This is a very much a traditional feeling kind of underdog Brit flick and it's got a great cast and it's got a kind of fun feel to it. We pick up the story of Bank of Dave in the wake of the 2008 financial crisis. Times are hard across the whole country, but especially in places like Burnley in the north of England. Dave is a successful dealer of minibuses and he used to do vans, he says. But he has the idea of how can he help people in the local community? Well, he wants to set up a bank. That would allow him to lend money to people who need it and also give money from the profits from the bank entirely to charities. Therefore, it's kind of good plus good. Now, that sounds like a great idea, right? The problem is there hasn't been a new bank uh, from the regulators in the sector approved for over 150 years, which means that Dave from Burnley, the minibus dealer, is going to have quite the fight on his hands when he decides he needs to hire a top London law firm to try and take on the regulators and get his bank on the road. And so a young lawyer is instructed from London called Hugh, who's played by Joel Fry, to go up to Burnley to meet Dave, who is played brilliantly and absolutely steals every scene he's in by Rory Kinnear. Now, when he first gets there, Hugh is keen to get out of Burnley as quick as possible, and he doesn't see that there's any way that this case could ever be won. However, the more time he spends with Dave and in Burnley, the more he starts to fall in love with the charms of the town. And he also takes a keen interest in the niece of Dave, who is called Alexandra and works as an A&E doctor and is played by Bridgerton's Phoebe Denevor. I don't want to spoil what happens next because, well, although it's probably relatively telegraphed for those who are fans of this type of film, you know, you want to go and find it out for yourself. But all you really need to know is that this is one of those British films that will warm you up in the winter months. It's charming, it's got elements of humour and it doesn't take itself too seriously. There's a love story that unfolds in a way that everyone likes a love story too in these types of things and you have a central character that you both like and you want to win and you want to root for. That's made even better by a fantastic central performance from Rory Kinnear who can certainly do no wrong in this film. There are also fun kind of almost cameo performances from the likes of Hugh Bonneville who of course you'll know from Downton Abbey as these kind of sneering London who are looking down their nose at Dave's project. Oh, and it's worth mentioning if you happen to be a fan of rock legends Def Leppard, who isn't, that it's worth hanging on to the very end of the film. You'll see why. This is one of those sorts of films that I think is easy to kind of criticise and there will be people who say yes there are parts of it that are kind of hackneyed and there are bits of it that aren't necessarily that original within the kind of genre 
with which it operates. But I think, to be honest, that is what gives it the charm. This isn't a film that's going to sweep the board at the Oscars next year, but it is something that if you're looking for some entertainment, a kind of very British feel, a great cast and lots of fun performances knitted together in a great package and a story that you may or may not already be a little bit familiar with, this is one that I definitely think is worth trying. It's available to watch wherever you are on Netflix. So why not give Banker Dave a go? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, why not hit that like button? And don't forget to subscribe to Screen OD.